Abby. I'm late. Has Monsieur called? No, madame. I couldn't find a taxi, and there was the traffic. Is the, is the dress ready? Oui, madame. Who'll be an angel and draw me a bath, huh? Not too hot. Oh. oh, no, my zip. Oh, it never works when I... Oh, it's all right. Oh, Gabby, where did you put my... Oh, never mind. I found it. I think I'll wear my mink jacket tonight. Gabby, did you fix the belt to the dress? Oui, madame. Not oui, madame. Yes, ma'am. You're learning to speak English. Oui, madame. Yes, ma'am. Did you want it, Gabby? Say, I just left. I just walked out the door. Hello? Yes, I am in... Oui, monsieur. All right, I'll take it. Un moment, s'il vous plaît. Watch the water, Gabby. Roger, darling. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm going to be late. Well, really, the traffic in Paris this time of day is something. You what? You can't? Oh, no, Roger, not again. I know it's business, but... It's just that tonight is a very special night. It's our fifth anniversary. Of what? Of the night we met. No, no, I understand. Yes, tomorrow will be all right. Good night, darling. Good night. It's very useful for a man, this business. Yes, very useful. Moi, à votre place, je lui donnerai un ultimatum. What kind of an ultimatum? We are going to get married or out. No, Gabby, I've told you we don't want to get married. He doesn't want to. We were both married before, you know that, and we both learned the same thing. People should be together because they want to be, not because they have to be. Freedom is such a precious thing. For him, not for you. Oh, Gabby. He goes out with other girls. Yes, he does. You don't go out with other men. I don't want to. Some freedom. You worry too much about me, Gabby. Maman says, it doesn't matter when you are young, but when you are old, you want to be married. Oh, Gabby, am I that old? No. But you are too much alone. Sorry about last night. This has been a terrible week. Yes, I know, Roger. I'm still trying to close a deal in Denmark, but the one in Holland fell through, and I have no shipments from America because of the strike. Mm -hmm. It's not very gay, all that. No. Shall we give it up, Paula? And go live quietly in the country in the small house by a river? <laughs> you wouldn't know what to do with yourself. <laughs> you couldn't live without your trucks and your tractors and the life of your city, your long Paris nights. But you've taken to driving very fast lately. I know. Was that a sign off? Trying to stay young? Oh, you would never be old. Stadorte. Whatever I say, you understand. Whatever I ask, you can answer. Oh. oh, I am remarkable. You are. I wonder how many times I've done this. Lean forward to turn on the radio as you drove me home from dinner. Paula. Mm-hmm. Well, am I very selfish? I mean, with you. No, Roger. It's true, I feel alone sometimes. Not quite so young, and I miss you. But I know how much your, your business means to you. Do you know how much you mean to me? I think so. Oh, I forgot. I had lunch with Jack Burnett today. He has a friend who needs a decorator, a rich American woman uh -huh. with a new apartment. Here's the name and address. You're supposed to see her tomorrow morning. Oh, thank you. Sounds like there may be some money in it. <laughs> I could use it. Well, good night. I'll let you sleep.
Dites-moi, je voudrais... Well, what happened? We were looking for you. Pretty things, hey, Mabel, silly things, cause if you like them, I do too. Hey, Mabel, cozy nooks. Good morning, Suzanne. Bonjour, Monsieur Philippe. Would you like to take a walk? Then I'd like to take a walk. Good morning. I'm Philip Vanderbush. Have you come to see my mother? Yes. Won't you sit down? I hope I'm not too early. Oh, no, no. Mother's up, I'm sure. Is it about uh, doing the apartment? Yes. Well, it could stand a bit of doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did wonder where you sit when you're more than three. <laughs> oh, well, I wouldn't know about that. I, I work all day, and when I come home, I go straight to bed. Oh, you must work very hard. Yes, I do. I do. I'm a lawyer. Never get to bed before midnight, up and out of the break of dawn. It's almost 11 now. Yes, well, yes, well, it's uh, unusual. Uh, I may as well tell you, my most important client went to the guillotine this morning. The guillotine? Good heavens, is he dead? <laughs> no, actually, I, I don't do much work. Not enough, really. Would you like a cigarette? <laughs> yes, thank you. Where did... Oh. Thank you. Is it still raining? <laughs> no, it, it's not still raining. Well, there really isn't anything else to say, is there? I mean, I don't know you. If I did, I'd tell you how happy I was to see you again. Why? I don't know, I just would. Suzanne, has Monsieur Philippe gone? Quick, there's Mother. When were you born? What day? What month? Philip. Yes, Mother? <clears throat> oh, there you are. I do think you might get out of the house before 11 once in a while. Uh, yes, Mother, I was just going. I can't see why, Monsieur Fleury. What's up with you? Oh, that's easy. You're his richest client. Goodbye. Uh, I do hope I'll see you again. Good luck. I'm sorry. Did you want to see me? Mr. Bunel asked me to stop in and see you this morning. Jacques Bunel. He said he'd spoken to you about... Oh, yes, 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 yes. About the apartment. You're the decorator. Yes. <laughs> well, he said some very nice things about you. Now, before we begin, there's one thing I want you to understand very clearly. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's people who try to take advantage... Suzanne! Suzanne! Oh, you have to tell him everything a dozen times. Now, don't misunderstand me, my dear. I want the apartment to look well, but there are ways of doing it, aren't there? I had a young man... Madame? What? Vous m'avez appelé, madame. What? Uh, oh, oh, yes, yes, Suzanne. Now, I've told you not to leave the windows open. Les fenêtres. Pas ouvertes. Uh, oui, madame. Well, kindly remember. Oui, madame. Mm. She won't, you know. They say servants are cheaper over here with the strain on the nerves. Now, what was I saying? Uh, you had a young man. Young man? Uh, oh, yes, yes, of course, the decorator. Well, he, he didn't last long. I've met robbers in my time. Oh, do sit down, my dear. Uh, but for sheer brazen thievery, he was... When were you born, dear? Oh, I beg your pardon? When were you born? Oh, you don't have to tell me the year. I wouldn't dream of asking you that. Uh, what, the month? June. Oh? What part of June? The 13th. Oh, Gemini. Oh, how interesting. I don't suppose you remember the time of day. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm afraid. I... Oh, that's too bad. Oh. Well, now, shall we do the downstairs in Louis Cannes? It'll cost quite a bit more. And if you want to keep the pieces you already have... I most I... certainly do. Come along, I'll show you around. You know, these things have been eating their heads off in storage. It's about time they paid for their keep. But my son is studying international law, you see, and we travel a lot, but now we have to stay in Paris for a while. I, oh, did you meet Philip? Oh, you must meet him. He's quite charming. Yes, I met him. And really quite bright. The trouble is, I have the faintest idea what goes on in his mind. Uh, oh, uh, this is the dining room. Yes? I am sorry about his arm. Arm? What arm? The one that goes like this. Really? I hadn't noticed it. I must have a look. Oh, about the dining room. Now, I thought over here... May I drop you off? Oh, 
but you haven't been here all this oh, time. Oh, no, no, no. I had some things to do. I just happened to drop by this way. I'm going to Boulevard Osman, right. near Saint Augustin. Right. Are you sure? Sure. Thank you. There's an art to getting into this thing. Uh, oh. You all right? Oh, nothing. Just, just my stuff. Driving too fast? Oh no, I'm used to it. I have a friend who drives very fast. He says it keeps him young. Does he want to stay young? Oh yes. Not me. I take it you were born into the right sign to do the apartment. I hope so. Do you believe in the stars? No, but your mother seems to be ruled by it. Mm -hmm. It's very convenient too. If you're ruled by the stars, you don't have to feel responsible for the things you do. Did you find her vague? Yes, in a way. She's not a bit vague. It's an act. <laughs> oh, it seems that acting runs in your family. How's your arm? Pretty good. It's, uh... <laughs> Listen, make Mother pay as you go along. She's rich and stingy, and she hates to pay bills. You shouldn't talk like that about your mother. Oh, well, I'm not a child. Oh, that's why. How old are you? Twenty-five. How old are you? Forty. so funny. The admiring whistle. Oh, I was more admiring than you think. Thank you. Will you have lunch with me one day? No. Nope. Oh, just like that, no? Just like that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be rude, but it's difficult for me to plan lunch the way I work and now with your mother's apartment. I understand. To the right, please. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Not at all. Well, goodbye. No, what about? How should I know? Probably the gear brief. I gave him that yesterday. That's probably why. What is it? What's the matter? Have you hurt yourself? No, it's all right. Oh, no, 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 let, let me go, let me go. No. You and your play acting. Really? Alice, I met someone this morning. I know. The most beautiful girl in the world. No, a woman. Warm, charming, gay, and yet sad. There was a deep sadness in her eyes. From what? I don't know. A husband? What husband? Isn't she married? How would I know? Don't you think you ought to find out? What difference would it make? Oh, excuse me. Well, if she is, it can't be a good marriage. She's not happy. No, she could only be happy with you. Right. Yes? Mr. Yes. Van Der Oh, good morning, sir. No, that'll be fine. Six, six, six dozen. Fine, thank you. Sorry. I hope you know what time it is. Yes, yes, sir. Oh, dear. I'm sorry about that. I, I was, uh, I was delayed at home this morning. My, uh, my mother's not well. I talked to your mother on the telephone exactly five minutes ago, mm -hmm. and she seemed to be in perfect health. Yes, well, well she, she is, uh, mm -hmm. she's much better now. Thank, thank you for inquiring. I've read the Guillaume brief. Yes. I do not think I need tell you of the high regard in which I hold your family. And I'm sure you know how pleased I was to take you into my office. Yes. But you seem to have no ambition. You show no desire to work. Why? This is not a brief. It gives no citations. It presents no body of law to support our case. What did you think we were doing? I don't know. Don't you care? Yes. Well, then. 
I just don't know what I'm doing. You're studying French law, I hope. No, I mean, um, what am I doing? What, what have I done to prove I'm alive, you understand? Are you trying to be funny? No. I want to know. How does one do it? For instance, I, I've just realized that I've never even been in love. Well, I have. Do that brief order. What's her name? I don't know. How did you ever find this place? I don't know. Probably came here with business people. Hello. Bonsoir. You seem to know everybody. No, it's just one of those nights. That's all. Bonsoir. They seem awfully young, don't they? Young? I don't think so. <laughs> what about him? Right. Garçon. Oh, I'm afraid I have to go home early tonight. I, oh, I didn't tell you I got the job. Hmm? Yes, that card you gave me from Jacques Bunel. Oh, you went there? This morning. Her name is Van der Pesch. She's one of those rich women who lived all over the world and still give you the feeling that... Hello. Hello. That is funny. That's her son. Mr. Van der Pesch, Mr. Demare. Sir? I knew I'd find you. Oh, you were looking for me? Yeah. How nice. I looked for you everywhere. All the time you were here. <laughs> Not quite all the time. We had dinner at the Berkeley. I finally began to wonder if you were real. Just a dream. Garçon. Garçon. The whiskey is in the This place is getting too popular. Are you married? I, I, I hope you weren't. <laughs> Ever so, though. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I think I said something I shouldn't say. Hey, would you like some coffee? No, no I hate coffee. I, I, I have one of the, one of the, the, the those, these, this. It don't make any difference now. I'll be right back. There's a man for you, a real man, a strong, confident, sure of himself. Nothing is that simple. Did you love it? It's none of your business. Oh, oh I, I, I apologize. It's funny, I've done nothing all day but apologize. Good, good, what was going on there? We'll see you Hello? Well, hello. Small world, isn't it? And full of charming surprises. I'm afraid I don't quite remember where I... Uh, Cherie, I forgot my lighter. Oh, uh, darling, you remember uh, Monsieur Cherel, Monsieur... Desmarais, Roger Desmarais. Oh, yes. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Voilà, Monsieur Desmarais. Merci, Paul. Nice to see you again. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. And then I found out I didn't know your name. Well, here we are. Sir... I, w I want to apologize if I said anything. Oh, well, we've all had too much to drink at one time or another. Would you like to dance, darling? I'd love to. Excuse me. Do you mind? Thank you. We'll be back, don't worry. Hey, Philip, we're going to regime. You coming? Come on, Philip. Ah. Strange boy. Not strange. Just very young and a little drunk. I have looked for you all over Paris. I began to wonder if you were real or just a dream. <laughs> the compliment for that. 
Oh, he's just a boy. And I think terribly unsure. Unsure? A young man who looks for you all over Paris and takes your hand and says, Are you married? Not my idea of unsure. Well, it's been a long time since anyone chased all over Paris looking for me. Mm -hmm. And you like it, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, of yes. course I do. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Good. Now I can finish my drink. Pardon? Excuse me. Pardon? Oh, Roger, I really must go home. If I stay up like this, I look a hundred tomorrow. Oh, come on. I'm just beginning to like it here. <laughs> He's going to break the window. Uh, la, 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 la. <laughs> Darling, please take him. Bon, allez. Hey, come on. I'm all right. No, no, I'm all right. Ça, I'm, oui. all, I'm all right. I'm all right. Find his key. I got my key. Where is it? <laughs> I, I won't tell you. Oh, please. Ah, tu sais qui commence à me cavaler, moi, ton petit Van Der Beche, hein? Oui, mon vieux. Who is he? There. There you are. My key. Can you make it all right? Certainly. Good night. Wait a minute. Good night. Eva. Good night. Good night. Eva says a good night. Rosie! Oh, oh, my God. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Time. <laughs> no, it was quite amusing. <laughs> oh, well, good night, darling. May I come up for a drink? <laughs> Wait a minute. Margot Glenville can go to... I want this, I adore it, and I shall have it. Now that's settled. I love you passionately, I have to run. Where's my packet? Uh, there, but it won't go with your apricot walls. Well, then make the moist the white. Uh, do you want me tomorrow? Yes, I have a pair of lamps coming in that I wanted to look at. I'll be in around six. Goodbye, my love. Hello? I came to apologize. Oh, you need... And please, uh, thank your husband for me for... <laughs> How is your head? I'll live, I think, but I'm not sure I want to. Oh, you do look a bit... Um, you ought to get some sleep. Well, the thing is, I'm, uh, I'm hungry. All right, then go and eat. Well, that's why I'm here. Now, I know you said you're busy, but would you have lunch with me? I, I just want to make up for last night. Oh, there's no need. But I want to. What do the stars hold in store for you today? Did your mother tell you? Yes. I must persevere in whatever I'm doing, no matter how hopeless it may seem. You're acting again. Please. It's a beautiful day. We could lunch in the country. I have my car. Or in the bois. Then if you get bored, you can phone for a taxi. You think of everything. I suppose all your girlfriends wear slacks. I haven't any. No girlfriends? Why not? I don't know. Try to think. When did 
did this general falling away from you begin? Oh, I've known lots of girls, but it just doesn't last. That's my fault, I guess, but some other are all so young. What's wrong with that? Oh, I don't know. It must be me. Still, I take this last girl. Now, she was pretty and, well, exactly the way older people imagine the young to be. How do older people imagine the young to be? Oh, you know, they... They try to look wickedly decadent. They, they drive their little cars at top speed, clenching their teeth. They, they light cigarettes the moment they open their eyes in the morning. And she kept telling me that love was no more than the touching of two skins. And? Well, I think love is more than that. She cried when I left her. I'm not proud of that. I hate the breaking up of things, partings and goodbyes. Well, then, you must never fall in love. Is that true? I hope not. Are you in love with your husband? I have no husband. Very good. Voilà, monsieur. Un double drive. Merci. After last night, you should be drinking water. I feel fine, but I need this for courage. Do I intimidate you? Mm -mm. But I'm afraid you'll get bored. You probably think I'm one of those spoiled, insipid young men who gets pushed into polite jobs that their parents can pay for, and from then on are busy trying to keep busy. Is that how you think of yourself? No, I, I like my job. You don't sound very enthusiastic. Corporation law is nothing duller. Not criminal law. Well, then why don't you do that? One doesn't practice criminal law in my family. It isn't done. Have you ever seen a murder trial? Hmm? Oh, it's wonderful. They're so different in each country and always so exciting in its own way. In America, it's like a football game. Why did you lie? I didn't, I didn't. We know you had the gun in your hand. I object, overruled. Answer the question. I didn't, I didn't. You're lying, O'Toole. You threatened to kill him. I didn't, I didn't. You stood on the corner of Howard and Mason. I object, sustained. Your honor, sustained. <laughs> oh, in France, it's different. The French have a logic and a sophistry and a true sense of drama. J'accuse. Sorry. I accuse. In the name of the dead, I accuse you of avoiding your duty as a human being. I accuse you of letting love go by, of neglecting your duty to be happy, of living on evasion and subterfuge and resignation. You should be sentenced to death. You will be sentenced to solitude. A horrible sentence. The worst. The worst and the most frightening. To be alone and without love, isn't it? Yes. You must find me even more ridiculous than last night. No. What do you think I'm acting again oh, just no, to make I was you feel? I thinking of myself. But I was thinking too, that you're far too young to feel that way. Alone, without love. You don't know? No. Anyway. It takes two. It's not enough to love. One must be loved. You look sad. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not. I, I... I should like... I should like... I don't really know you, but I should like to think you are happy. But can I come with you? No, I really had a good time. Thank you again. Well, can I just walk with you? No, goodbye. Hello? I thought I could carry your packages. Well, then I can take you back to your shop. Oh, please don't be mad at me. I don't think I can stand that. Really, you are a child. You must have been terribly spoiled when you were young. Oh, yes. Mother gave me everything. Much easier than saying no. What about your father? Oh, we ditched him when I was seven. And from then on, we traveled, just mother and I. Home is where the heart is. 
and travel broadens the mind. Oh, you're so very right. I have an amazing fund of useless information which serves me very well at dinner parties. I have thousands of acquaintances without the burden of friendship. I've been in and out of 27 schools, and I can say I love you in 13 different languages. Not bad at all. Well... Yeah, yeah, let's get a day. That's my favorite. It's uh, I love you in Norwegian. Did you learn that from a Norwegian girl? Yes. Yeah, yeah, let's get a day. It's the extra syllable that gives it the emotion. Yeah, yeah, let's get a day. Well, here I am. Goodbye. Uh, wait a minute. Yes? Do you like Brahms? What? There's a wonderful concert at South Playa Sunday afternoon. Brahms. Do you like Brahms? <laughs> What's the matter? I haven't been asked that since I was 17. And, and what did you answer? Yes, of course I was in love and we went to the concert and we sat high up in the balcony and held hands and listened to Brahms. Well, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, it was lovely. Then you do like it. I don't know. It was so long ago. Well, will you come to the concert with me and find out? I am busy this weekend. I'm sorry. I try to keep my weekends free. Is it, um... Is it the man you were with last night? Yes. Is it permanent? Yes. Goodbye. Thank you again. Funny. What? Men always smoke afterwards. Do they? I never thought of that. <laughs> oh, yes, they always do. Could I have one? Yeah. You know such interesting things, Maisie. I wish you'd tell me why you call me Maisie. I have very poor memory for names. It makes life easier. Do you call all your girls Maisie? Yes. <laughs> oh, I think that's cute. Which Maisie am I? Maisie 7? Mm -hmm. Maisie 27? Maisie 127? Maisie number one. Oh, how gallant. A little more champagne, please. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm awfully glad you were at that cocktail party this afternoon. So am I. But I don't know why you picked on me with all those good-looking boys around. <laughs> oh, those kids. They talk and talk. They just love to talk. But you. The moment I saw you, I knew what you had on your mind. Don't laugh. That's very rare these days. Honest, ask any girl. How did you get rid of Cheryl? Oh, poor André. He's awfully important in movies, but if you only knew what a bore he is. I never will. Don't worry about him. Roger, hmm? let's go away for the weekend, hmm? I bet you know some wonderful places around Paris, shall we? You're free, aren't you? Mm -hmm. I heard somewhere that you were sort of tied up. Is it true? No, no. I'm free. <laughs> yes, darling. Yes. Well, no, I was waiting to hear from you to see what you want to do this weekend. Mm -hmm. What? Oh. I'm sorry, darling, but the weekend is the only chance I can get to work on this deal. The man is in Brussels, and I've got to go see him. It may mean a sale of 75 tractors. Yes, I understand. Of course I do. Oh, I don't know. I'll go to a movie, I guess. Yes, I know she has a bridge game on Saturdays. Who? <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to call Jimmy. Why should he take me out? Oh, Roger, will you please stop trying to arrange my weekend? Oh, no, really, dear. If you feel badly about my going, I'll see what I can do. Oh, don't be silly. Of course you have to go. I'll probably work this afternoon. One of my clients asked me to. I said no, but I may as well now. Hmm. Yes, we'll both work. <laughs> All right, darling. When will you get back? Well, if you do, I'll be here. And drive carefully. Yes, I will. Yeah. Goodbye. Oh, my God. 
$24 a yard. Yes? Oh, I feel awful today. Uh, how much is that one? Yes, that is $14,000. Uh, I'll take that one. All right. Well, there's nothing wrong with it, is there? No, no, no. I like it. Oh, my, I am pleased with the way things are going. You've done wonders in a short oh, time. Thank you. Uh, now, I may as well tell you, I'm planning a dinner party on the 19th. Uh, well, that's oh. a week from Wednesday. Oh, but I couldn't uh, possibly... I'm sorry, but I've already sent out the invitations. Well, I'll do my best. And, of course, you must come. Thank you. Now, if you look at these materials, Madame Van der Besch... Uh, excuse me, I... Yeah, do I'm... call me, Teresa. I have picked this for your bedroom and this for your son's room. Um, as a matter of fact, I've sent an invitation to your friend... Uh, Roger Demery. That's his name, isn't it? I hear he's most attractive. <laughs> oh, my dear. Paris is like a small town, really. Everyone knows everyone's business. Now, would you like some tea? No, thank you. But I do wish you'd look at these materials. Oh, Paula, I couldn't look at another thing today. I trust you implicitly. Only just don't spend too much money. Madame. Will you bring us some tea, please, Suzanne? Please, madame. I thought this for your son. I couldn't possibly tell you what Philip would like. Not possibly. He's not that difficult. My dear, he's impossible. He's practically a manic depressive. Loves the world, hates the world. Just like his father. He drinks, you know. Oh. His father drank too, but... Charming. Oh, there you are, darling. We were just talking about you. Oh, I'm in luck. Hello. Hello. I'm sorry, I have to go. But you haven't had your tea. Well, thank you, but I have things to do. And thank you for giving me the time. I'll call you on Friday. <laughs> Goodbye, my dear. Don't forget the 19th. <laughs> no, I, I won't. Goodbye. I'll see you out. What is it? Nothing. Anything wrong? No. Can I come down with you? I uh, didn't expect to see you today. No. What happened to your weekend? Roger was called away on business. I see. Goodbye. Goodbye. The switch is behind you. Let me go. Let me go, you're annoying me. Philip, please let me go. but on Sunday mornings, I adore you. I could bring you breakfast every morning. <laughs> too simple, Gabby, too simple. Oh, is there no more black cherry jam? What a shame. Well, I'll get some tomorrow. There's a message for you. Where is it? It was on the telephone. Very early. He said he didn't want to disturb you. Monsieur? No, another monsieur. He wouldn't give his name, but he made me say the message over and over. Oh? And what is the message? I'm sorry about yesterday. Do you like... Brahms. You understand it? Yes. Yes, I understand it. But what are Brahms? Look over there. The second album from the top. Yes, that's it. Put it on. Fine. Now the first switch. <laughs> Those are Brahms. You better get dressed. 
Do I have to? Mm-hmm. What time is it? About 5.30. Why don't we stay over tonight and go in tomorrow? Nope. Why not? I have to be in Paris tonight. Why? None of your business. I'm not going. What? I'm not going. <laughs> Maisie. Maisie. No. Come on, Maisie. I want to stay here. Stop, Maisie, will you? No. Please, Maisie. I want to stay here. Stop, Maisie. Oh. No, stop, Maisie. I'm glad you decided that you like Bronx. Do I? Well, I don't really know. It doesn't matter so long as you're here. I can look, can't I? Especially said extra drive. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. Oh, there's the bell. Don't you think we should be getting back? Intermission is almost over. Will you have dinner with me after the concert? I can't. I have to get home. I thought you said he'd gone away for the weekend on business. I expect Roger back tonight. What if he doesn't show up? Well, then I'll have dinner alone. Well, he must be quite a man to deserve such devotion. Such blind self-sacrifice. I love him. What about him? What about him? Does he love you? Yes. Of course, all is for the best in this best of all worlds. Don't play the cynic. It doesn't suit you. At your age, you ought to believe in such things. Stop making you. fun of me. Stop talking down to me as if I were five years old. Sorry? I'm not making fun of you, but of, of the parts you keep playing. If you would just be yourself. It's true. Since I've known you, I've played the brilliant young lawyer, the bashful lover, the spoiled child, God knows what else. But it's all been for you, only for you. Don't you think that's love? We'd better hurry.
been happy? Yes, I have. Always. There's no always. I've had five years of happiness and doubt and warmth and pain. But only the happiness matters. You're not happy now? Yes, I am. No, I know you're I not. I told you I love him. And I love my mother and my old nurse and my car. I don't see what that's got to no, do. No, you say you love him, but you're alone. You spend your Sundays alone. You, you, you dine alone. How often do you sleep alone? You have no right. I have the right. Shh, shh. I have the right to fall in love with you. And nothing can stop me. And I shall take you away from him if I can. I will. The announcer said so. Do you like it? Oh, Sunday afternoon, so awful on the radio. Would you like what it was? Oh, well, it's nothing else. Funny. When I was eight, I wanted to be a conductor. I wanted to be a movie star. And I'm going to be. I've got to have dinner with Shirelle tomorrow night, but I'll call you as soon as I can get away, all right? Yeah, yeah. It's not nice of you to leave me tonight. I'm going to miss you. Uh, Maisie, I can't drive. <laughs> Don't be silly. You're a wonderful driver. As a matter of fact, you do everything well. Hello. Oh. Hey. What's the matter? Nothing. I'm just so glad to see you. How was your trip? Fine. Did you just come in? Yes. Where have you been? I've been to a concert at Salle Playel. Oh. Do you like Brahms? Why did you ask that? I heard it on the radio driving back. Oh. How did you happen to go? I... Young Van der Besch asked me. Oh. And I had nothing to do, and I couldn't remember whether I liked Brahms or not. A young boy asked me a silly, trite question, and I didn't have an answer. I'd forgotten. <laughs> I, I can't keep my mind on anything lately, except the man I love who's never around. Well, what is it? <laughs> I told you someone asked me a question. <laughs> but I have no answers anymore, and all the questions seem so important suddenly. Do I like Brahms? What is my favorite color? Do I like roses? Do I love you? <laughs> What's happened? <laughs> What's that boy been saying to you? What difference does it make as long as I love you? And you know the answer to that one, don't you? What have you been doing? <laughs> Listening to Brahms. Oh, stop talking about Brahms. <laughs> I can't leave him out. <laughs> well, what is this about? Is it me? Yes, you and me. You know that I love you. No, I don't. I don't know anything anymore. Oh, Roger, has time caught up with me already? <laughs> already. Paula. What do you want me to tell you? That you're the most important thing in the world to me? Well, someone was always there. The one that you can be sure of, to love and to trust when you want to. <gasps> Sometimes I wish I was one of the sluts you pick up in bars. Not to be trusted or esteemed or admired. <gasps> Just to be loved. You know they mean nothing to me. Yes, I know. It's how I am. I've never tried to hide it. No, oh, you've been honest. You don't really care. You've said so. That's right. Well, then, as long as we are honest... We, we can be self-indulgent. Well, then what's wrong? I wish you and I were falling in love again. 
That's all. We must be sure of the future then. I'm sure of it now. Nothing has changed. Uh, we can go on just as we are? Of course. Forever? Sure, why not? I love you. You've had a bad weekend, Paula. I shouldn't have left you. I'm sorry I had to. Oh, it's all right now. Where should we dine? Where would you like? Oh, I don't care. I'll just change into another dress and fix my face. It won't take a minute. Oh, look, your mask fell down. Mm -hmm. <coughs> no harm done. Hey, Ola. Tell me. What about this car go? Do you think we can get in? I think so. Don't you want a drink? Mm-hmm. Would you like one? No, thank you. Well, tell me, how was Brussels? Was your trip successful? Yes, fine. <laughs> oh, you don't sound very enthusiastic. What about Shella? No, no, I don't think they're open on Sundays. No, no, let's get go, it'll be fine. Roger? Yes? I'm glad you came home tonight. So am I. Was the traffic awful? Well, it's always bad on Sunday. But the parkway is quick, even when it's crowded. Parkway? But there's no parkway from Brussels. No, of, of course not. Did I say parkway? They picked that road so well, it seems like a parkway now. I made wonderful time. Well, that's good. What about some place with music? Might be nice. I don't know which ones are open. We can drive around and see. All right. Is that the door? Yes, yes, I'll go. Hello, Gabby. Bonsoir, monsieur. Who is it? Gabby. J'ai une lettre pour madame. A letter for you. All right. How's your English, Gabby? I haven't seen you for a long time. I've been here. Who is it from? I don't know. It, uh, it came by hand. Here. Thank you. Do you mind reading it to me, darling? It may be personal. Thanks, sir. So. It is. It's from young Van der Besch. It doesn't matter. We have no secrets from each other, have we? I ask you to forgive me. I was jealous, and you can only be jealous of things that you own. Well, now you'll be rid of me for a while. I'm leaving for London tomorrow to work on a case, and it's very important. But I don't really care because all of the time I'll be thinking of you. Please, please remember, even if you never want to see me again, that I love you. Dear Philip. I'm ready. You haven't said where you want to go. Oh, I think some place with music would be nice, don't you? Not quite. It is true, my lord, as Melanie Trent suggested, that the facts do seem simple. On a certain day, at a certain time, at a certain place, two ships collided. One English, one French. But that Here are the papers seem you asked for from Paris. Paris. Oh, good. How's it going? Fine. Here's a letter for you, too. Back. I wonder how my learned friend will explain away in simple terms the testimony of witness Sharp, who stated Sharp. that... Uh, at no time during the ten minutes preceding the collision did I hear a signal from the English ship. Complication upon complication. There is, too, the question of the fog. Witness uh, Glenville states that the fog was lifting, but witness Olivier states emphatically that the fog was thickening. There is, too, the testimony of the quartermaster, Belknap. Belknap. who was forced to admit that he had left the bridge a few moments earlier to get more sugar for his coffee. 
Let me recall to your memory, my lord, the statement of Seaman Gendrin, who Mr. first Mr. Parks, it's very important. What? Yes, I'm sorry. ...ship on radar screen at a distance of three miles. London Airport, please, but first up at the Dorchester. Don't you think so, Lucia? Yes, my dear. Well, thank you, Myrtle. Is she expensive? Not with me, my dear, not with me. And uh, who is he? Who? He, oh, he's in the truck business or something. I think that's what she told me. I must say he looks it. Yes, he? He seems rather attractive. Do you think so? Yes. yes, as a matter of fact, he is rather. Please, Roger, don't be bored. Bored? How could I possibly be bored with such a charming gay crowd? At least try to be nice to Madame Van der Besch. You haven't even talked to her. Yes, I have. I said good evening, and uh, it was nice of you to ask me. Please, here she comes. Paula, dear, everyone adores the apartment. I've never heard people rave so. I'm glad. Vous devez être très fier, monsieur. He should be very proud of you, Paula. Oh, I am, madame. And you have something to do with the uh, trucks, haven't you? Yes. Oh, how interesting. You buy trucks in America, then sell them in Europe? And sometimes we buy them in Europe and sell them in America. We are very flexible. Oh, fascinating. Isn't it sad Philip isn't here to see you? You do look so lovely. Philip's my son. He'll be furious when he hears he's missed you. But he had to go to London on something terribly legal. Did he tell you? Philip's mad about Paula, you know. It's really quite touching. Yes, I know. The dinner is servi, madame. Oh, dinner. All right, Suzanne. Marie Elaine, Claude, dinner, dinner, everybody. Uh, Raymond, you're sitting next to Madame Flore. Uh, Alain Monchere, you're sitting with Madame Tessier. Paula, dear, talk to him about modern paintings. He has a fabulous collection. Uh, and you're next to me, Monsieur Demaray. Oh. And you're going to tell me all about your trucks and what you do with them. <laughs> you're Leo, aren't you? I beg your pardon? Well, you must have been born in late July or early August. No, early in May. Oh, Taurus, the bull. <laughs> well, I suppose I should have guessed. Uh, What's la liste, uh, madame? Merci. This is always the most difficult part, trying to get people to find the right places. I can never read my own writing. Francois, you're here. Mary Elaine, over there. Uh, Claude, you're next. Oh, uh, Monsieur Philippe. Bonsoir, Micheline. Here, oh, yes, yes. And Paula, dear, you're here. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, darling. You're on the other side over there. Alain, you're on her right. Raymond, on her left. Uh, that's right. Lucienne, you're next to Francoise, on her right. Uh, Murphy, you're here. I'm sorry, but I must be frank with you. I think it's all nonsensical. They call themselves abstract expressionists. But what do they express? That's what I want to know. Yes, yes, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We, we were just talking about Jean Dupre. Of course, you know about his latest affair. I'm afraid I don't even know who the gentleman is. You don't know Jean? No, I'm sorry, no. And I can't think why his latest affair should interest me. Unless... Unless? Unless the lady is my wife. And happily, I'm not married. Oh, that's rather a narrow point of view, don't you think? If everyone were like you, what would we all talk about? Philip! Good evening. I uh, hope I'm not disturbing you. But, Philip, we didn't expect you until Saturday. Well, I, uh, I thought I'd surprise you. Philip, what's happened? Was the case settled? Uh, no, but it's, uh, it's going very well. It's going very well indeed. Well, darling, have you had your dinner? Oh, yes, I had something on the plank. I'll just sit here and keep you company. No, 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 Marcel. Monsieur Philip's had dinner. Hello? Hello? I must say, Teresa Philip is looking well. Hard work agrees with him. I don't think hard work. I got your note. Just caught up with me. I came straight back. Would you like some fruit? Oh, no, no, thank you. I never thought I could hate London so much. Well, you're in luck. Mother would like to talk to you. And you would like to talk to Paula. That's right. Wait a minute. There's something I want to ask you. What? I, uh... I wonder if I could have a cigar. 
course. What did you say to Philip? I asked him for a cigar. Why? You looked angry. I wasn't. Should I have been? Well, I don't know. Here we are. Oh, thank you. Do you like cigars? No, no, unfortunately. Can I get you something to drink? No, no, thank you. I think we should be going home. I have to get up early. Well, well if Paula isn't tired, I can drive her home later. Mm -hmm. I suppose you could. Would you like that, darling? No, I'm, it's getting late. Good night. Good night. You certainly brightened up that party. It was dying until young love came along. Now they've got something to talk about. Have you heard about one of Van der Besche's interior decorator? She did over the apartment and seduced her son at no extra charge. I think you've got something there, Paula. If you're going to do the young master's bedroom, why not do the young master? It makes the work so much more interesting. You're going away tomorrow? Yes. Where? I told you, Switzerland, Denmark, Germany. How long will you be gone? About ten days. Roger, uh... Good night. How did you get here? You must have driven like a fool. Get in, please. But why do you do such idiotic things? Please, just for a moment. Why did you come back from London? To see you. Oh, but why? Why, your letter. Well, that's ridiculous. What did I say? Come back soon? Oh, no. My sweet Philip, your letter was too sad and more than I deserve. I miss you. Come back soon. Well, I didn't mean it that way. I, I was tired and unhappy and, and lonely. And, oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have written it. But you meant it? I suppose so. Then. Has anything changed since then? No. Nothing has changed. Well. Here you are. SAS 252. Now you can board the aircraft. This way, please, gentlemen. Do you want to Copenhagen to meet us? Yes, yeah, they'll have a car. Roger. Scandinavian Airlines announced the departure of flight. You go ahead, I'll catch up. We haven't got much time. Don't worry. All passengers are kindly requested to proceed to customs and passport. Paula, oh, Roger. what are you doing here? I called you at home, but you're already gone. I wanted to see you. Come over here. I'm sorry about last night. I was angry. I was actually jealous. Roger. I wanted to call you Roger, and... will you take me with you? What? I want to come with you. Can I? Paula, well, makes sense. The plane is leaving in yes, two minutes. Yes, I know, but I'll go home and pack a bag and I'll join you wherever you are tonight. Where will you be? Darling, I have two men with me from the home office in Chicago. How would I explain? But say, I'm your wife. Americans always travel with their wives. They'll understand. Paula, well, this is crazy. Is it because of that boy? Because of me. Please, Roger. Hey! Roger! Yes, on. I'm coming. Please. Yes. Paula, well, don't worry. I'll come back to you soon. Ten days, no more. Get rid of that boy, Paul. I bothers you. And don't worry. Everything will be all right. You'll see. Paula, you know, I love you. I'll call you when I get back. Goodbye, darling. Attention, please. Will Monsieur de Marais, SAS passenger Bye. on flight 252.
Please proceed immediately for questions and passport control. Thank you. Attention, s'il vous plaît, Monsieur De Marais, passager du bus. Teaching law for 40 years, and never, never did I hear of anyone walking out in the middle of a case. Now let me tell you something. If it were not for your mother, I would ask you to leave at once. As it is, I'm going to put you to work on research. And Hello? You by yes? This it's Who is he calling? No, I'm afraid Monsieur Van der Besch is oh, occupied at the know. moment. Oh, just a minute, please. Oh, here he is now. Hold the line, please. Well, you certainly caught it that time. What did he say? Oh, I don't know. I wasn't listening. What's this? It's a personal call for you. A woman's voice, and it's not your mother. Hello? Yes, Paula. Yes, of course we can talk. Listen, I, tonight I thought we could... I'm afraid I, I can't. What do you mean? I can't see you again, Philip. Please try to understand that. Whatever happens will only hurt you. Don't try to see me, please. Will you promise me that? Philip? Philip, you must promise me, please. Yes. Yes, of, of course. I can tell Save the lie It's farewell And goodbye again My love So why deny you Philip, let's go. I've had it. You have Well, come on, will you? We've been going like this for days. If it is you said you'd give two years of your life to be really in love. I know I said it. I'm sorry I said it. Oh, that was way back. Well, I am in love. But she won't believe me. I believe you. You told me a thousand times. Now let's go, huh? Philip, come on. Ah, I'm going. You'll be all right? Yeah. I'll check you tomorrow. So long. Hello. Gone. Left you. Huh? You talk about love as if you knew all about love. I do. You gonna buy me a drink? Sure. Just got you. Sure. Well, tell me. Tell you what? About love? Oh. Kind of hard to explain and It's nothing. It's just a word in a song. Mm -hmm. It's in a million songs. You said it just right. It's the most used word in the world, and it doesn't mean a thing. Just a word in a song. Well, here's to little old love. Here's to little old love. You gonna sing me another? Well, love is just a word. Fancy way of saying two people want to swing. Love is just a word, and when the fun begins, a word we use to cover a multitude of sins. Love. been here? I don't know. You must be wet through. 
I had to see you. I tried not to, but... It's all right. Since you sent me away, I don't know where I've been or what I've done. How about you? Oh, me? I work. I went to a collection. Bought a new dress. They're tearing up the street in front of my house. Oh, I know. I almost got stuck in my car. It'll be fixed in a few days. Pretty good, huh? I don't know why. I feel as if I haven't eaten in days. Hello, my love. Oh, Gabby, wait. I forgot I put the chain on last night. Bonjour, madame. Morning. It's all right. I'll take it. Would you like me to Paula? get... Paula, can you help... <laughs> good morning. Can you help me with this thing? Uh, Gabby, this is Phil... Um... Mr. Van der Besch. Bonjour, monsieur. Don't worry about breakfast. I'll do that. Well, thank you, Gabby. Gabby, I'll call you if I need you. She was embarrassed. <laughs> Not embarrassed. Surprised. Gabby is my guardian and my protector. She's much older and wiser than I am, my Gabby. <gasps> Look at the time. I'm going to be late. Oh, don't worry. I can drive you to the shop. No, I don't want you to. Could you get the butter? Why, why shouldn't I take you? Oh, there's no need. Well, I can let you off at the corner if you don't want anybody to see us. Why? Well, I don't know. I just thought... Don't worry. They'll know soon enough, and they'll have such fun. Have you heard about Paula and her new young man? Oh, she must have such vitality, Paula, and such an appetite for life and young men. Does it matter? Not really. All right, then. What time are you through? About six. Six? What am I going to do till six? Oh, how do you know that I'm not busy tonight? That's true, I don't. Let me do that. I'm not busy tonight. Good. Still, what will I do till six? I don't know. You'll work. Work? Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll wander around Paris thinking of you, and then I'll have lunch alone thinking of you, and, well, then I'll wait for six o'clock to come.
Space passengers. You go ahead and catch up with you. Why? Where are you going? To make a phone call. Tell the porter to get us a cab. What's his number? 24. Don't worry, I'll be there. Passagers du vol SAS 565. How are you? Did you have a good trip? I want to see you. Are you free for dinner tonight? N no. No, I can't have dinner. Well, can you manage lunch? Yes. Yes, yes let's have lunch. Where? Where would you like? Oh, it doesn't matter. A place that's not too crowded. Like Atlant? Fine. All right, I'll meet you there. Do you want me to pick you up? No, no, I'll meet you there. All right, like Atlant, one. Hmm? I... I'm looking forward to seeing you. Goodbye, Roger. I'm sorry, I'm late. No, it's me. I was early. Don't you feel well? Why? You don't usually drink in the middle of the day. Oh, that? No, I felt a bit tired. Oh, well, then I... I think I'll have a vermouth. Un noyer? Oui. Très bien. Sommelier, un noyer. It seems a long time since I've seen you. Ten days. It seems longer. I called you a couple of times from Germany, but I couldn't get you. Yeah. I've been out quite a bit. Or maybe I turned off my phone. You never used to. Voilà, Madame Lenoyer. Thank you. Have you seen Jimmy? No. What have you done? I've been seeing Philip quite a lot. Oh, the young... Still mad about you? And you? Do you still find him amusing? Yes. I'm using no more than that. More. Well, there's nothing to say to that, is there? There's so much you could have said. Oh, Roger, if I were to tell you that everything still depends on you, you wouldn't know how to say it, would you? I don't know. But I do. You would say that you were too... too obsessed with your freedom, too frightened of losing it. I said I don't know. All I know is that I detest the idea of you and that young... La même chose, s'il vous plaît. Oui, monsieur. I hope it's worth your time. It isn't a matter of that. He loves me. <laughs> it never occurred to me when I asked you to lunch that I would have to listen to the story of your love life with that boy. Since you've always made sure I knew all about yours with your girls. At least that's normal. I mean... Uh... Goodbye, Roger. Et voilà, Monsieur Un Martini. Sorry, that was stupid of me. You know I didn't mean it. Oh, it, it was just as much my fault. Perhaps we shouldn't see each other for a while. Goodbye, darling. Paula, you know that I... You mean so much to me, Paula. You do.
Allez, madame, 17 les chevaux. Les trois derniers, les quatre premiers, le reste sur le 25. Le 5. Le 5. Le cognac, s'il vous plaît. Roger. Hello, Jimmy. What are you doing in Deauville? I just decided to get away, you know. Is Paula here? Where are you staying? No, Paula is not here. Oh. I haven't seen Paula in two months. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Well, that's stupid. Well, I mean... <laughs> See you later, Roger. Close the window, it's cold. Stop calling me love. Oh, what time is it? Oh. Gosh, do you realize it's, it's only five o'clock? What are you doing up, love? Hey, you haven't been to bed Will yet. You stop calling me love. Why, you call me Maisie? Just stop using that word. What's the matter with you? Love, love, love. Do you know what it means? Well, do you? What does it mean, love? Did we come here to discuss my vocabulary? Just stop calling me love. It's all right at night, but not in the morning. Mm, we're getting particular now. Will you kindly close the window? Monsieur Desmarais, s'il vous plaît, votre voiture est ici. Ah, merci. Here's your merci, bill, monsieur. Sir. And your change. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Concierge speaking. Yes, madame. Monsieur Desmarais? No, no. I haven't seen him, madame. Thank you. Thank you, sir. But how about your luggage, sir? Madame will bring it. Very good, sir. I hope. Philip. Philip. Hello. I want to talk to you. Uh-oh. Well, Philip, this can't go on. You have to work. When was the last time you went to the office? T Tuesday. Tuesday. And when before? 
You've reached a point where you do nothing at all. You see me off in the morning and then you wait for me to come home at night. And now you've taken to sneaking drinks. Oh, no, that's not so. I, I just... I just rinsed out that glass because I know you hate untidiness. Yes, I hate untidiness. And I hate lies and I hate weakness. And pretty soon, pretty soon I'll hate you. Well, that was bound to come, wasn't it? Oh, Philip, I didn't mean it that way, but I can't have you become a stupid, sudden lump because of me. I've told you to go to work a hundred times, and this is the last, that's all. And if I don't, what? Well, I won't be able to see you anymore. You could send me away just like that? Yes. Oh, Philip. Philip, stop it. You're acting. Look at me. Look at me. Now, what is it? It's just that you don't love me. And there's nothing I can do about it. I knew from the beginning that you would send me away someday. But all, all the time I kept hoping that it, that it never would happen. And all the whiskey I've drunk, all the whiskey in the world, couldn't make any difference because now it has happened. And that's it. Oh, no, Philip. You're such a fool, such a child. Oh, such a fool. You've played at being the abandoned lover, and you've done it so well, you believe it yourself. I do care about you. You know that, Philip. Well, look at me now. Look at me. You don't want me to go? No, not today. But I want you to work. <laughs> I will. I promise I will. I was so afraid. Were you such a fool? I just wanted to see if you were in. Sorry. Hello? Who's calling, please? Oh, yes. Uh, one moment, please. Madame Tessier. Yes? Monsieur de Marais. Hello, Roger. Paula. Paula. How are you? I'm all right, and you? Yes, I'm fine. Paula, I'm taking a holiday next week. This is a time of year, you know. Remember, we always went away for a week or so. So I thought I called you, and uh, as long as I'm getting my ticket, I thought if you want me to get a ticket for you. I don't think it's possible, Roger. It's just not that easy. Well, how, how could we go away and pretend that nothing? Well, we couldn't help thinking. Oh, that's why I'm going. Not to think. To think of nothing. Well, that's not a very good reason for going. The best. No, it isn't that easy. And I'm sure you don't need me for that. For that? I'm sure you'll be all right or by yourself or with some of you. Someone else. What? Well, nothing, nothing. They never meant anything to me, you know that. As long as you had me to come back to. Then you won't come? No, 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 Roger. Goodbye. Paula. Take care of yourself, will you? Yes, I will. Oh, wait, wait. Come on, come on, come on. Don't now, rush on. me. There, see? <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Good night, sir. Oh, at last. 
say it's getting cold, isn't it? Yes, a bit. Uh, waiter, would you mind going up to room 16? What would you like, darling? Oh, there's a yellow cardigan on the bed. Yes, madame. All right, let's go. No, wait a minute. Wait, cheat wait. just a little. But no, I did not. Look at that. I knew I would have won. But didn't you cheat pushing him with your foot a little? Oh, oh, oh no, I did not. <laughs> oh, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful getting you away from Paris. You're a different person. You shed your skin. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> why don't we stay over another night and go back in the morning? Yes, why don't we? <laughs> oh, good evening. Good, e good evening. Good evening. <laughs> you, uh, you, uh, know, um, um, Madame Tessier, don't you? Uh, uh, Madame Fleury, uh, uh, Monsieur Fleury, and this is Madeleine, and this is Pierre. Good evening. Ah, uh, did, uh, you, uh, drive out to, from Paris for dinner? It's a uh, wonderful place, isn't it? Uh, how was the traffic? We, uh, we got stuck in San Clue yesterday, and... <laughs> oh. oh, here we are. There is this a one, Madame. Yes, thank you. Uh, Do sit down, children. Your food is getting cold. Lucien. <laughs> Your key, sir. Oh. <coughs> well, nice to have seen you. Goodbye. 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 Uh, should we have another drink? It'll warm us up. How old is she? Please. Lucien, dear, you better start asking for the bill. It takes an eternity here. This way, madame. Your table is ready. You go ahead. I'll be right there. Too dry. <laughs> Children. Sir. Let's see. Where's Madame? I don't know. She went out. But your dinner is ready, sir. I'd like to go back to Paris. All right. Paula, what do you care what people like that think? I don't. But what difference does it make? It doesn't. Well, then. Well, let's not talk about it. No. We will talk about it, and you'll listen. Oh, please don't. This is... This is unworthy of you and humiliating for me. You're making too much no, of it. No, you're making too much of it. I'm not a fool, you know. I'm not a child you have to hide things from. If you'd agree, I'd marry you tomorrow. Oh, don't be silly. I'm so much older. That's not the problem. Age has nothing to do with it. I love you. I need you. And nothing that people say can make any difference. The only problem for you, for us, is Roger. He's still there, isn't he? Deep inside you, and you can't drive him out. What is it they used to do when someone had a demon inside? Say prayers, burn incense, ring bells, make noise. If I did all that, would it drive Roger out of you? Night. I'm sorry. Somehow it never occurred to me that you... It just never occurred to you that I could think that's all. Il y a preneur à 5,000. do you think we should keep going? It's up to you. The price is still low. Who is that revolting man who keeps bidding against us? It's another dealer. He'll stop soon. I know him. Well, it better be soon because I... À gauche, l'enchère, second rang, Hirson à droite. 14,500. 14,500. On renonce. À gauche, l'enchère, 14,500. Adjugé à madame, 14,500. There, we have them. Well. And a very good price. Et nous vendons, nous vendons deux chaises d'époque Louis XV. Voici madame Tessier. Merci, je les prendrai demain. Oh, they are a bargain, aren't they? I think they'll go very well in the library. Come to think of it, I may put them in Philip's room. Uh, by the way, uh, how is he? Why? Don't you see him? Oh, he comes home from time to time to pick up his laundry. Oh, I didn't know. My dear, it's perfectly normal. As a matter of fact, I always hoped Philip would fall in love with an older woman. Do you want me to pay you a commission on those chairs? Well, after all, you took the time, and your time is worth something, uh, isn't it? Oh, please. Well, if you insist. Now, do you mind if I ask you something about Philip? Yes, I do. Your car's here, madam. Oh, uh, thank you. Can I give you a lift, Paula? I'm going no. to do yours. Thank you. No, I'd rather walk. Are you sure? Yes, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Still, you have learned a certain amount of French law since you've been here. But New York is where you will work. It is where you will live. 
I've had a long talk with your mother, and we agree that under the circumstances, your career will profit from your immediate return to New York. That's very nice of you, but I'm not going. I'm afraid you have no choice. Oh, yes, I have. Well, you'll have to talk to your mother about that. Elise? Monsieur Fleury, were they to discover that you have a mistress, and I'm sure you have, where would they send you? Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye, all. Now, this way, please. That table over there. Oh, no, no, no. Not that one. Not tonight. I'm afraid everything is reserved. Well, sir. how about this one? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no buts. No buts. Uh, what's your name? Francois. Francois, you don't know me, but this is a night we're both going to remember. We'll take this one. Après vous, madame. You're mad. You ask for me, monsieur? Yes, yes. We'd like some flowers. Oh, no, no, no. I'd like you to find the most beautiful bouquet you can for madame. Mais, monsieur. Uh, here. Merci, monsieur. J'essaierai. You're completely mad. Absolutely. <laughs> what is this all about? We're celebrating. What? My independence, my independence of the world, my dependence on you. François? Oui, monsieur. We would like to start with something just great, followed by the most marvelous dinner ever served in the history of Maxime. You'd like to start with some fresh pâté de foie gras? No. Yeah. No. 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 Uh, caviar. 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 With blinis? Yes, and vodka to go with it. Sommelier? Madame, will you dance? May I have the pleasure of this dance? Monsieur? Uh, vodka, the best, and lots of it. Uh, bien, monsieur, et comme vin, monsieur. No, 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 not vin. Champagne, a mag. Ah, bien, monsieur. Will you please tell me what this is all about? I've quit my job. Or rather, I've traded it in for Paris. You quit your job? Yep. Why? They were going to send me away to New York. Oh, but Philip. No, but not from you. Let's have a pact, all right? No, Philip. You can't do this. I won't let you do it. It's done. I saw her at Balenciaga in a dress from Balma. And the next day at Lanvin wearing a Givenchy. Isn't it funny? Yes, all. Today she was having lunch with Guy Laroche wearing a Chanel. And now here she is. I almost thought that dress quite well. Do you like it, Jenny? Roger. Roger, what are you thinking? How stupid the world is. What? Nothing. Come on, Missy. Let's dance. to make. I almost did something terrible. What? Well, there's a beautiful place between your neck and your shoulder, which I almost bit. May I? Oh, Philip. Well, you think about it and let me know. You are very far away tonight, Cherry. Oh, am I? Shall we go to the Elephant Blanc? Why? I may be here.
we go somewhere else? If you'd like to. Yeah. Doesn't really matter. Where do we go from here? I don't know. Good night, Philip. Paula. Can I see you tomorrow? Yes, of course. Help you? Bonjour. Oh, Monsieur de Marais, I haven't seen you for some time. Yes. Is Paula here? Oh, yes, she is. Uh, she was here a minute ago. Madame Tessier. Madame Tessier. Yes, Mr. Stanner. Oh, Roger, hello. Hello, Paula. Paula, I am. Could we go somewhere? Yes, of course. Well, I've been making up speeches, but now I can... S help me. Last night, I wanted to walk across the room and say, this is enough, let's go home. And then later, I walked and walked and... It can't go on like this. I... I can't live without you. There, now I've said it. Why was it such a terrible thing to say? <laughs> it was all my fault. I should not let you get involved. I should have stopped you right at the beginning. Oh, my darling, you're not very bright. I'm not. No, but it doesn't matter. I'm home. For whatever it is. There. Sugar? Oh, Philip. Philip, try to understand. We met at the time when you needed me and I needed you. And we were very lucky. But it isn't enough to keep two people together. It couldn't last. I kept hoping, selfishly, that it would, but it couldn't. And all he had to do was say, please. Well, I don't know. I suppose I ought to feel proud, in a way. I mean, if it wasn't for me, you probably wouldn't be getting married, you know? Oh, I'm kind of a, a Cupid. Yes, that's what I am, a Cupid. Well, look, Philip, you shouldn't oh, try well, to... Oh, well, that's true, isn't it? I was sort of a, an interlude. Damn it. Damn him, damn you, damn us all. Why couldn't you love me? But you said it yourself, Philip. The demon inside of me. I can't drive him out. Philip, I, I'll never forget. Sure. 
Me neither. Oh, Paul, what am I going to do? What's going to happen to me? Oh, Philip, darling. You'll be going back to New York. You have friends there and your life is there. <clears throat> sure. No, you're right, you're right. I'll, I'll meet the right girl, get married, live happily ever after. Um, where's, where's my slippers? Where's the other one? Thank you. Well, uh, am, am I ever going to see you again? You can if you want to. I don't think we should. No. No, we shouldn't. What, what the hell am I doing? Will you leave all this stuff with your concierge, please? Yes, I'll get it all together. your bath. And uh, what shall I wear tonight? Let's see. <coughs> oh. The black chiffon. No, it's too dressy. We're just going to a small bistro for dinner. This one. No, no, that one is the... What is that next to it? That? Yes, that's fine. Oh, what a day. The trouble with being an interior decorator is that everyone thinks he knows your job. But nobody ever thinks of telling a plumber how to fix a sink. But, oh, Gabby, my zipper. No, no. No, it's all right. Never mind. <sighs> but you just start making a curtain and everybody will... Gabby, did monsieur call? No, madame. Not too hot, Gabby. I think we'll eat in tomorrow night, Gabby. Let's get a good steak for monsieur. No, we had that on Monday. Well, let's get some lamb chops and tell madame Fougeuse to make me one of her beautiful... Oh, I'll take it, Gabby. Hello? Oh, Roger, where are you? Yes, I suppose, if you have to. Yes, I understand. What? Oh, I'll probably have something to eat and go to bed. All right. Goodbye. 